Have you ever faced a situation in life where you thought, you know, I'm not even sure that God could help me out with this one. Well, if that's the case, then Joshua chapter 4 is for you. And here's why. In Joshua chapter 4, what happens is the Israelites are about to enter into the promised land. This, this land that God has promised them, a land of milk and honey. In other words, a great adventure where everything is wonderful, right? Everything is cotton candy. The only problem is one major obstacle stands in the way, the Jordan River. Yeah, and it's not just any old river. This is a major river at flood stage. And and so it turns out that God has to do something miraculous to get them into the land. And what he does is he dries up the Jordan River completely. No water, no wetness, nothing. All right? And, And what happens is as the nation crosses across the river, Joshua has the priests gather up some stones from the center of the river and pile them up when they get to the other side. And he does this for a very specific reason, and it involves you and I. Here's the deal. Joshua chapter 4, verse 21. We read this. In the future, which if you haven't figured it out yet, we are in the future. In the future, when your descendants ask their parents, what do these stones mean? Tell them. Israel crossed the Jordan on dry land. Israel crossed the Jordan on dry land. In in other words, don't let your modern brain, you know, mess you up on this one. The, The Jordan River, major river, flood stage. Israel crossed the Jordan on dry land. You see, it was a miracle of epic proportions. And God tells us why he did that in verse 24. It says this. It says, he, God, did this so that we might know, all the people of earth might know, that's you and I, that the hand of the Lord is powerful. He did this so that we might know that the hand of the Lord is powerful. So what are you facing today that you're afraid of? What what are you facing today that you think, man, even God couldn't help me out with this? Then remember, man, Israel crossed the Jordan on dry ground, on dry ground. This is the very same Lord that wants a relationship with you if you will just follow him. He calls you to be strong and courageous. Follow his lead and recognize the hand of the Lord is powerful. My name is Eric. And I'm the five-minute pastor.